Couple games for show and tell. <clears throat> um, can't talk about the Wii without talking about this all-time classic. Uh, one of the most influential games of the millennium. I think people are sleeping on the importance of this game. And I guess the interesting thing is I have it in a case. Most people don't. Wii Sports. Uh, the lights are totally eating this because uh, it's a white cover. But Wii Sports, this is such a good game. I know it's only got a handful of modes. It was the pack-in. Uh, the boxing is busted. You have that. Yes. Um, the boxing is busted. The golf is kind of weird. Uh, tennis, you can just kind of waggle it. Uh, but, like, this game sold 100 million Wiis. So influential. Uh, people love playing these games. Bowling in particular, like, wow. Um, really changed, opened up the whole, a whole new world of gaming with Wii Sports. And I, it comes in, like, a folder. Like, it, it was packed in. It didn't come in the case originally. I printed off some art, and I put it on this, like, old DVD case and... So I have it as a proper case. Uh, that was some good bowling. Yes. <laughs> uh, the year it came out, we went to so many parties and just like bowled all night. It was so good. Uh, I, I came close to getting 300. I never could do it though. Some other um, games here. Uh, this one, a little bit of a deeper cut. Uh, this is from EA. It is the Godfather Black Hand Edition. And so the Godfather uh, originally came out on the PS3 and the 360 as an open world game in the style of Grand Theft Auto. And they put it out on the Nintendo Wii. And what they did was they added motion controls that were actually not that bad. Uh, they're pretty immersive. Like you could swing a baseball bat. You could use it as a gun. You could actually like grab people by like the collar of their shirt and then like wave them around and throw them, uh, push people off buildings. Uh, you could throw punches, and it was actually a pretty decent implementation of motion controls in a game that was also pretty good. I mean, this isn't necessarily as good as like a GTA game, but as a GTA imitation, if you like The Godfather, even if you don't, um, I think this is a pretty decent game. Unbad motion control seems fake. <laughs> yeah, one of the challenges of the Wii was definitely the accuracy of the motion controls. And there's probably some janky stuff in here too. But I actually think it, it plays pretty well. And I really actually enjoyed the motion controls on this one. So Godfather Black Hand Edition. Because we mentioned it on the stream a little earlier, uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns, as I've said, is arguably the best in the series the level designs are so creative running in and out of the screens and uh it looks really good graphically i know the wii has doesn't always look the best in terms of horsepower but the art direction in this game is fantastic and it gets really hard at the end maybe a little too hard at the end it's one of those games where you can play it co-op but it's probably easier if you just play it by yourself that said uh I, I really I have really fond memories of playing this game and it's probably the best Donkey Kong Country of the bunch. Word banana. <laughs> I know a lot of people love Donkey Kong Country 1 and 2. I think it's probably a coin toss for me between Donkey Kong Country 2 and Donkey Kong Country Returns and I'd probably give the edge to Returns at this point. Here's a deep cut. The Nintendo Wii did not get that many fighting games. Oh, I, I should bust out the the thing that goes with it. All right. I'll show you the game. Uh, this one is Tatsunoko versus Capcom. Oh, Ian says, Weirdly, the only Donkey Kong game I have much experience with at all is Donkey Kong 64. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Ian. Ian. <laughs> That's like the worst one. Man, Donkey Kong, oh, one of the most disappointing games I've ever played, like following up the Donkey Kong Country series with Donkey Kong 64, and it was, I mean, it wasn't a bad game, it was just a very mediocre one, and it is like one of the ultimate collect-a-thon games, where it's just, the whole game was just go get stuff, go around the world and collect all the things. 
Um, but yeah, the you should definitely try some of the other Donkey Kong games. And yes, we were talking about Tatsunoko vs. Capcom. A two-on-two fighting game in the style of Marvel vs. Capcom, but it's got Tatsunoko characters like... Uh, I think there's Gundams in this game. I don't actually know the, the characters that are in here. Let's see if maybe the characters show up. I can't name any of... Is that like Yatterman a character? Oh, here we go. Uh, so some of the characters in here... Oh, this is a really nice manual, by the way. Remember when we used to get manuals in games? Uh, Ryu, Chun-Li, Alex. Uh, Mega Man Legends Mega Man. <laughs> um, Rival Schools, uh, Batsu, Morgan. Kaijin Nosoki from Onimusha. Speaking of Mega Man, Ian... Uh, the Sega Genesis has Mega Man Wy Wily Wars, which is Sega Genesis versions of Mega Man 1 through 3. I had no idea those existed <laughs> until I streamed it. Yeah, I was upset when I found Monster, Hun Monster Hunter World on PS4 had no game manual in it. Yeah, game manuals kind of died out a few years ago. It's probably the best for the environment, but man, I miss stuff like this. At least the good manuals. Like, this has, like large character images it has the move lists who are the, the the anime characters in this um that was all the the capcom characters who are the tatsunoko characters uh yatterman yatterman one duranjo tekaman and polymar i don't know if those i think tekaman's the one who looks like a a uh a gundam uh, Jun the Swan from Gotcha Man, Cashin, Ken the Eagle. Like these are super deep cut characters that I I have no idea who they are. Um, but it was like the only fighting game on the Switch, or not the Switch on the Wii. And yet, let me show you this other piece of Wii merchandise here. Ugh. No commercial this time. One of my prized possessions, I've got this Nintendo Wii fight stick, which shows up horribly on camera. There we go. Uh, this is a Hori Wii fight stick, which I bought just to play this game. <laughs> and then I hardly ever played this game. Uh, it's not a particularly high-end stick. It's pretty standard issue. You can't really swap out the buttons because the um, everything's soldered in. But it's an okay fight stick. Yeah, the one Soul Calibur that they... The one Soul Calibur... Hold on. Yeah, Smash Brothers Brawl, that's okay. And um, That counts, but even within the Smash community, there's definitely some divisive thoughts about Smash Brothers Brawl. Um, and then Ian says, yeah, the one Soul Calibur... That they got was the weird narrative driven one ah yes you're right i totally forgot about that <laughs> yeah that was a weird thing i guess the less said about that the better uh here's a cool one. Oh, also um if you are collecting nintendo wii games i've heard this one is one of the more sought out after ones because they didn't print that many of them in the first place so uh keep your eyes open if you can pick this one up on the cheap Uh, three more games here. Actually, two more games. I don't know why I have two copies of Super Mario Galaxy, but I have two copies of Super Mario Galaxy. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna guess one of those is Steph's copies, and I, I didn't realize she had Super Mario Galaxy. And the last one. Um, this was a Christmas present from Steph a couple of years ago. It's a really neat piece. It is the... Uh, Super Mario 25th Anniversary box set, which features, um, it's got, like, really nice box. It's got a music CD in there. It's got a book. Uh, it's also got a disc with the Super Nintendo version of Super Mario All-Stars. Let me open this thing up. So, yeah, here's the game. And, yeah, it's got Super Mario Bros., Mario Bros. 2, Lost Levels, and Super Mario 3. You can play it with the the Wiimote sideways. 
Oh man, so many memories with All Stars. All Stars was so good. Was it the Super Mario All Stars is probably the first remake slash remaster I ever played, and I loved it. How they made the the graphics so much better. And then there's this thing, which is the the soundtrack is in here. That's a really cool cover, by the way. And unfortunately, I've 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 mucked up the plastic here a little bit. So I've kind of ruined the collector's value here, but it comes with the music CD. There's how many songs are on this thing? Uh, there's a lot of tracks. Oh no, there's 20 tracks of music. And then it comes with a booklet as well, which has uh, kind of the history of Super Mario Bros up to this point or up to the point this was published. So pretty neat, pretty neat collector's item. I don't know how much this actually goes for if you were to try and flip this. 